I don't know why that does that. There's always an echo for some reason. All right, chat, as a reminder, today's cooking stream, a bit different. Simple stream. We're gonna make tuna melts, but in four different ways. Today's ingredients are quite simple. Do, 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 do. Just need cheese, bread, tuna, and eggs. And here's the best part about today's stream. We can see the egg cooker in action. Are you guys pog? Are you pumped about it? Ugh. I bought a new one because I broke my other one. You like the shirt? Thank you. What is this? Recipes inside? There's a recipe book in this? Why do I need a recipe book for eggs? I'm not a cook eggs. Ugh. Dude, these things are fire. They're actually so good. Dude, Calvin and Hobbes is so great, Frost. I love Calvin and Hobbes. Back in, god, 6th grade? 7th grade, I think? I would, uh... I would go to my library, and they would have entire books that were from all the comics from like the last two years or whatever. There was like four or five of them. And I would just read them. Wait, what? You're making sandwiches? I'm making tuna melts. It's gonna be sick. But we're making them in different different ways. Rick is a monster? And what do you guys learn? Who I am? Who I be? Yo? Trick is old enough that he went to <laughs> school to libraries? Wait, aren't, there aren't libraries in schools anymore? No way. That can't be true. That actually cannot be true. Hang on, I need to make a of this. Okay. So, what I'm doing here, actually, team, is I'm getting everything out of the way, but sourdough bread, sourdough bread today. Sharp cheddar, white, uh, Monterey Jack mixed with mild cheddar, Guayuri cheese, which we'll be shredding up later on in our food processor, I still don't have a cheese grater, and Parmesan. Mayonnaise relish for one, the tuna, but also to mix in with the Parmesan so you have a nice crispy sauce to lay that down on top of. Butter, of course, very instrumental for a tuna melt. And then tuna, very easy. Very simple ingredients. First thing we're doing though is we're doing the egg cooker. I need to cook two hard boiled eggs, so we're gonna be doing that. Uh, I'll make four here, so I can make deviled eggs off of it. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna make four. I'm gonna have deviled eggs as a side. So, for no one, or anyone that has not seen the egg cooker, here's why it's so amazing. This thing is like eight bucks, and will cook eggs in any style that you want. Scrambled, hard boiled, medium, etc. We're gonna be making hard boiled eggs, so all I have to do is take this container right here, and get enough water to get a hard boiled egg. But first, on the bottom is a little pincer maneuver that you need to do for each egg to make sure that it will cook. Lay it in here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a hole in the top of these eggs. Because they're going to get steamed. Wait, still fine. Oh, that might be flour from the last cooking stream. Okay, that I have this done. This is so fucking simple, I love it. Pour the water in here. That's it. Done. Now I plug it in. Wait till it rings. Alright, so now that's cooking. When it's done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Getting a bowl of ice water. What are you done with a hard boiled egg? 
you want to instantly throw them into a cold environment so they're easier to break. So I'm getting ice water ready to go. Bam. When those finish, we'll get to it. While that's happening, I am going to make our tuna casserole. I need to find a bowl. Yes, there it is. Good old mixing bowl. You prefer poached eggs? I haven't done them. Oh, I haven't changed any of the titles or anything. One second. Uh, melt. Cream. Just chatting. There you go. Are you happy, Deadlies? You don't like hard boiled eggs? I think they're hella testy. So good. Um, I don't know how much tuna I'll need for this. I'll just make three. If I have extra tuna, I'll just hold on to it. Hey, Jay Raj, what's up, man? Some people use canned tuna. Fuck that, man. They're more expensive, but they're so much easier. Food? Nah, man. It's a bag of tuna. I guess you can feed your cat this, but humans eat it too. Occasionally. Dude, I can't believe how good Mass Effect is, man. I'm so wanting to play Sekiro, but I just want to get their Mass Effect first. Tuna is super gross. What? Haters. Great haters. Tuna is so yummy. I will eat tuna plain. Straight up. In love tuna. Here, I'm gonna eat some right now, chat. Watch me. Watch me. See this? Mmm. Fire. Frixler, you just contaminated the food! The food I'm gonna eat anyways. We'll be okay. It's in a restaurant. Okay. Mayonnaise this. We're gonna mix in the eggs afterwards. But for now, we'll get started with this. Oh god, juicy mayo. Juicy mayo, man. One of the most unhealthy substances you can put in your body. But my god. Us white boys love it. Can we open it though? That's the real question. I swear these don't work. They don't. I ordered real cookie knives, by the way, chat. Now with my pans that I have, I'll have real knives soon. I got a cheese grater coming. Become a professional AF, dude. When it comes to mayonnaise and tuna, you kind of just eyeball it. Some people like it all juicy and all over the place. I like mine being a little bit more durable. Relish in there. Salt pepper. Three turns each. Easy. Oh god, I love tuna. I really do. That looks actually perfect. Yummy. Too relishy. At least the only time that tuna tastes horrible. It's perfect. We're good. Perfect. I feel like I might want to put another tuna in there. I don't feel like I have enough of four sandwiches. What do you think, chat? You think that'll be enough of four sandwiches? I'm a little worried. We'll do one more tuna 
back. I, mean, I got 12 of them, why not, right? Sandwiches, you're right. We need manly, girthy sandwiches on this stream. Don't play around. Have you guys tried the flavored tuna packets, by the way? Dude, flavored lemon pepper tuna packets are actually fire. They're actually so good. Definitely have enough to do now. Worst case scenario, we'll have more sandwiches to make later. That's the best part about tuna is you can mix it all together and then just throw it into a container or refrigerate it and use it when you want it. Perfect. We get there. Getting fish in a packet so odd to me. Yeah, usually they're in cans. I need to shred my Parmesan, and I need to shred my Gryor cheese. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but it was recommended as a flavor. Uh, so food processor. Let's get that bad boy out again. Ah, This thing carried the stream last time, and it will carry this stream as well. Do it over here until we need it. Right here. I don't know, it was recommended, so I'm gonna try it for this grilled cheese sandwich. Might be good, might be not, I don't know. Do 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 do. It's pronounced Gruyar. Gruyar. Really? I don't even care. We're gonna see how it tastes, though. It's like saying boo there. Gruyar. Why do they have, a, have a, such a weird name? Why can't they just name it something like Ray Life? Something, you know? You feel? I don't understand this thing. I feel like it never works. So it says pull open here. Oh my god, it worked this time. It didn't work last time, I swear. That's the Europeans they named it. Trick Chef win. Uh, I need to do one more stream, so that way I know I'm committed to cooking streams. I'm monitoring how they do and whether people like them or not. And if they continue to do well, we will look into having a Trick Chef MO. It worked! I know, right? Easy. Alright, remember last time we learned a lesson. We want to have small chunks if possible. Oh, jeez. Bus chunks. And do about half of this. I think. This egg cooker, by the way, is phenomenal if you are trying to make ramen eggs, chat. on bread and cheese paste. Delay my tuna melt on. Okay. I'll be here for now, clean that up later. Okay, so let's cut this up. Easy. Easy peasy cover girl. having it. So I'm gonna try it after I get this up. Okay. Should be cut up enough. Good chat! Nice and crumbly. Perfect. 
perfect for a mixture. Um, put it in here. Your mass effect, but hi. Never put your finger in the food processor before you remove the blade. There's like three check down systems on this food processor. It won't connect unless this is on the bottom, and then the lid also connects into these two buttons. It won't even activate without it. I'm actually really curious what this tastes like. Let's try it. Oh, it's really yummy. Mild? I wouldn't consider, consider it a sour flavor? But it's actually like really perfect for cheese and crackers, I think. Wow. That's a really good cheese. I recommend that. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Wow, that's really yummy. Alright, need this one cut up well. Actually, don't know if it will. It's a little bit softer. Let's see what happens. Rui Yer. I don't know. Gruyere? Is that how you pronounce it? Gruyere? A uh, Gruyere! A nice Gruyere! A uh, Gruyere! When the Kansas City style pulled pork cooking stream? A lot of the barbecue in Kansas City is so great because they spend literally days getting it perfect. Oh, nice! It cut up really well! Nice! Alright, so let's pull this out. So our hands don't get cut off. On stream. Because chat would be sad about that. Oh, it's perfect! That cheese is so good! My god! I need to buy that more often. I love it. Like, it's not a... It's not like a sweet cheese. Very tasty. Very tasty. Okay, let's unplug the food bottle so we are done with it. We don't need you anymore, thank you for carrying. Oh, nice! The eggs are done, chat. Perfect timing! Oh my god, we're legends. Okay. Grab a couple more ice cubes real quick. I just realized I might have showed you my butt. Sorry, chat. Okay, so that's discussed. These are our eggs that have now just finished up. They just got done steaming. Thanks to the egg cooker. You can literally just pick this bad boy up out of this. Drop him in here. Easy. Easy. Let those finish up. Move this out of the way. Let those sit for a couple minutes and then we'll peel two of those for our tuna mixture. Okay. Now we want to mix our cheese together. This is actually really important for those that are trying to copy this recipe. The Parmesan does not go in the cheese mix. Do not put the Parmesan in the mayonnaise mix, okay? Repeat it with me, chat. Parmesan does not go in the cheese mix. Parmesan goes to the side. Important step. Do not forget it. Do not forget it. Okay, 
Now, the Gruyere goes in this mix. Okay. Mild Cheddar goes in this mix. Mild Cheddar and Monterey Jack. And then your Sharp Cheddar Cheese will go in this mix. Just a handful. Nothing too crazy. Is someone ping Alex Dids? I'm doing the stream for him, by the way. He's never had a tuna melt. Which is just fucking bonkers to me. Parmesan! Parmesan! You've never had a tuna milk either? Dude! Tuna milk are fire! Another handful? Of this mix here? That'll be all the cheese you need. This is what's going on top of the tuna. After you get it heated up. You don't really need to add flavor, you just want your cheese to be mixed up. Mix it with your hands if you need to. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. I think I have too much cheese in here, but that's okay. Probably too much for four. That's a great thing though, again, about tuna melts. If you have too much of it, just put it in containers, and then when you want to make another tuna melt, just pull them all out. Mix it together. Okay, that's done. That will look like it's all mixed together. It looks like mixed cheese, surprise. Now this is a weird one that you're probably gonna look at and be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm telling you, it's a great chat. Take a mayonnaise, and you're mixing it in your parmesan. Be generous with it. You want it to be pasty. Trust me, chat. Just trust. Just trust. It's full Kona right now. Pretend you're in Idaho. Good old Idaho. Everyone forgets that Ohio is a state. They are the king of mayonnaise. be pasty like that. Something that you can mold and lay on top of bread. Okay? Now the one I'm nervous about is the air fryer one, because I don't know how to work this air fryer. But we'll figure it out. In fact, I might put that one in first. Just to see what it's like. Actually, let's vote, chat. What do you want to see first? This one I think will be the worst one. Toaster oven? Press one for toaster oven, two for air fryer, three for skillet, and then four for George Foreman. The skillet, I think, will be the best one. Five microwaved, this one a bitch. Actually, the one with the toaster oven is going to be microwaved. So I'll toast the bread. And then I'll microwave the other one in there. It's gonna be awful, but it's one way to make a tuna milk. You don't have the ability to cook. Hi Connor, what's up man? I think the uh, air fryer and the skillet were actually put it on first. Interesting. Okay. To the air fryer first. Oh boy. Okay, so the temperature needs to be at 325, according to the recipe that I looked up yesterday. I'm so nervous about this. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna construct. We're gonna construct our tuna mill and throw it in there and then air fry this shit. God, I hope it's okay. Before we do that, we do need to get our eggs involved. Uh, personally, I don't like the yellow stuff, the yolk, thrown into a, uh, a tuna mix. So I, that's why I made four eggs, so I can save two of the yolks and make deviled eggs on the side. Go ahead, peel this mofo. A plate here. Put the snake on too once I peel it. Please 
do the campfire stream sometime? This is also, by the way, the cooked egg from our rapid egg cooker. I'm telling you guys, this thing is amazing. It's so amazing. Make sure you rinse your egg so you don't get any shells anywhere. The egg right there. Oh, the lighting's a little bit too rough for you guys. That's okay. Help people get that egg cooker. Honestly, if you want this egg cooker, like, I'm not sponsored by them. Like, this is not me selling out. This is me telling you what a good product is. The egg cooker is actually in my Amazon Blacksmith link. If you just hover over the stream, you can buy it. It's actually a seriously awesome, awesome product. You can make any form of egg you want with it. It's incredible. Okay. Let's cut this up. Yeah, perfect is this? Hard boiled egg. Look at that. Fucking perfect. Actually perfect. Such a good hard boiled egg. Take these out. Why? I don't like the egg yolk in a tuna mix. Some people do it, some people do. Okay. Now we'll just chop this up. Nice little chunks. Flip over, damn it! I want you on your front side, I want you on your back side. Some people like it thinner, I like it thicker. I'm gonna make sure it's cut enough though to where like it's not sliding around your tuna batch. Try it with and without for science? We have to split it into two different turkeys. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys do? Do you do oak usually? Do you usually put your yolk in there or nah? Like, this is the part I want, I just want the white stuff. Put that egg cooker in my car right now. Nice, Jay Roush, enjoy! Seriously, let me know, it's great. It's an awesome product. Okay. Put this yellow stuff on the side here with my other two eggs. And I will make those later into uh, deluxe. Deluxe doubled eggs with bacon on top. Oh, they're fire. Usually do both. I put my <laughs> yolk everywhere, if you know what I mean. No, I don't get it. Can you explain the joke? I actually feel like I need a little bit more mayonnaise in this. Let me stick it that well. Is that a little bit more? Fuck, we're using half a bottle of mayonnaise today. You full white boy. Hell yeah. Hey, Kona? Represent? Oh yeah. God, I love tuna! I'm so excited for this. Okay! I think we're ready to start cooking, chat. Are you ready for this shit? Now again, the air fryer is the one that I'm the most nervous about, because I've never done this before. But from what I understand, you just create the entire sandwich and throw it in together. No problem, though. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Here we go. Ready to go. I'm gonna try it. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. I love tuna. Okay. Put this on the side here. Move our eggs out because we don't need these anymore. Put a little bit of water. Okay. Now it's time for the construction. I recommend sourdough bread. Usually the most durable, but you can do it with like basic bitch bread, you know? Is tuna chicken or fish? Uh, fish. 
But I know that some people call it the chicken of the sea. Uh, today we got a simple mix of bread. It's a San Francisco bread. They sell around here. I have no idea if it's important or not. But I know it cooks well. Um, threw away my knife. I'll get a new one. Okay, let's build this real quick. So this isn't how you do it with a skillet. This is what I'm assuming is right. I have no idea if this is right for a air fryer, but we're gonna assume it's right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Butter one side, these are the sides on the outside, not the inside. You want them to toast. So we're buttering the outside here. Do as much as you want. Some people go crazy, some people don't. At least have a thin layer everywhere. And I like to pull the excess out and then move it to the other side. After you start constructing it, make sure that when you put it down on the plate or skillet or whatever, that you don't let it move around too much. You're gonna pull that butter off. Do that. Like I'm gonna finish this piece. And what I'm going to do is lay it down and try not to move it whatsoever. Okay, so bam, down. Remember, outside, down. And try not to move it. Okay, so this is where we get our little Parmesan mayonnaise concoction. Putting it down here on the side. We want to try and spread it as easily as possible. We want it to stick to the bread. We're not trying to have a big, thick layer. We're just trying to have something that the tuna will sit on top of. We're only doing this on one side. The other side will be put together with the actual cheese mix that we have. Okay, nice. Now, tuna on top. Some people do put olives on a tuna sandwich. I'm not a fan of it, but I can see why you'd be into it. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the tuna here. Again, I don't know how this air fryer is gonna turn out. So I'm just kind of experimenting, seeing how it looks. Okay. Now our cheese mix. All three of our cheeses together. Here, let's let you guys show what it looks like. Simple, easy. Now the cheese right on top. I'm trying not to spread it too much. Because again, <laughs> this is going in an air fryer. I don't know what happens when it leaks. I don't want to ruin Katie's cooking utensil. And if I do, I apologize and I'll buy her a new one. Okay. Here we go. Remember, butter on the outside, dry side goes on top of the cheese. Okay. Pre-cooked tuna milk. Nice, girthy, looks great. And now we're gonna we're gonna push through this chat. Air fryer time. We're gonna take it and place it straight in there. Bam. Just straight in there. Okay, everyone bless RNG is an explode on me. Uh, I was told via the recipe I read yesterday, 320 degrees for four minutes. I'm gonna go three minutes. I guess look at it. And I guess we just hit play. Nimbles, there's a shrimp one, there's a muffin. Wait, what? It turned off. No, don't turn off. How do I make it start? Okay. I hit the clock button. Does it just go? I'm about to just hit the pasta button. God, is it gonna work? How do I turn it on? Has anyone ever used an air fryer before? You know what button I hit, or is it just start? The 
power button here, but I don't want to hit it. It's going to start cooking. Plug it in. It is plugged in. It is turned on. There is an on button. Let's just hit it. Oh! 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 Okay, you just hit the power button again. Okay, it's on. For three minutes. It's just going. I'm so scared. <laughs> I hope it's good. Okay. We'll do the uh, basic tuna melt while this is cooking chat. You guys can see what that looks like. Let's do this. This is the basic bitch one in case like you're a college student, you have no ability to cook, you're afraid you're gonna burn shit. Here's how you do this one. First thing you do, toaster oven. Take two pieces of bread, put in toaster. Let two pieces of toaster cook. Okay. We let those cook. It's still going. I'm so afraid it's gonna like burn or something. You'll want a clean plate for this. So we'll do that. God, cooking streams are so much dishes, dude. So many dishes. Where's my George Foreman, by the way? It's up here, right? Um wait. Did I not bring my George Foreman over here when I moved here? Ah, here it is. Pop chip, we got it. Okay, cool. I'm so nervous it's gonna blow up. You got my phone dialed for 911? Thank you, Super Stevo. Thank you for having my back. That's why I appreciate you as a person. You know where your fire extinguisher is? Just asking. Nah, man. If it catches on fire, guys, I'm just gonna die. And that'll be the end of it. Open the air fryer, just ravioli. Captain goes down with the ship. Exactly, Stone. Exactly. A bit more toasty on this bread. Almost there. One more minute left! Halfway with it being steam, a true streamer goes down on his chat. Wait, what? What, Zito? We do have an emote in case there is a fire. We do. Do, 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 do. Sounds like it's cooking. I can hear it. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through this. Okay, cool, perfect. Got a little bit of toastiness. A little bit of toastiness. You can get a little bit toastier, but I don't really mind. Uh, for this one, you don't need to butter the outside. I am buttering the inside here. Because I like the flavor with it, if you're doing a basic one. Oh, it's done. The fryer's good. Oh. Oh. It's actually kind of okay looking. Oh my god, okay, we'll let that stay warm. Let's get this in the microwave and then we'll look at it. Okay! And you would construct it like you just did for the air fryer one. Nothing too crazy. You can be modest with it, you can go crazy. You're throwing it in the microwave, right? Nothing bad's gonna happen. Okay. A little bit of cheese on it. Bam, combine it. Easy sauce. Paper towel on top of it. That way it cooks the food only, not the plate. 30 seconds should do. Okay, let's look at this thing actually. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm kind of excited for it. It looks kind of alright. Ugh. It didn't really toast like I thought it would, and the bottom's a little bit soggier than I thought it would be, so I'm not sure what causes that. Maybe it didn't cook long enough. Maybe I should throw it in a little bit longer. 
I'm gonna throw it in a little bit longer. Two more minutes should do, right? Because it feels soggy on the bottom. I don't like that. Yuck. Twenty. We're gonna put it in for. Let's put it in three minutes. Book it. What's the worst that could happen, right? All right. So this is the basic bit. Tuna milk chat. This is what happens when you have nothing to cook with, and you have a microwave and a toaster. I used to make these all the time back in the day. What it looks like toasted. Nice. Give me browner if you want to go for it. Here we go. And tastes fun. It's nothing amazing. But it'll get the job done. It'll feed you. Alright? This is actually really yummy. I'm hungry. Hmm. Okay. So, that's a microwave one. Oh, the Parmesan mayonnaise mix at the bottom is so good. So great. So that's Mike waved. Air fryer is working, so we'll get ready for our next one, which will be the skillet iteration of the tuna melt. It'll feed you. Best tagline. Dude, it's legit, man. I'm telling you. The construction's pretty simple for all of these. I think the only ones that you need to really pay attention to are the, uh, the difference between the toaster oven and the other three, which is you put the butter on the outside, so it'll toast, but the microwave and the toaster don't really need that butter on the outside. Obviously, you don't want to put butter on top of your bed before you toast it. Why would you do that? You'll just put butter all over your toaster oven, and that's not very smart. Cooking stream turns ASMR eating stream? What's wrong with the ASMR? I could ASMR all day. Oh no! Drop cheese on the ground. Need to vacuum that up later. Okay, let's get all this crap out of the way. That we don't need. While the air fryer finishes up. I normally don't know what to put as a side the tuna melt. I mean, french fries is fine, but like, we've got time to make french fries, am I right? I was just saying that's great. Oh yeah, totally, request, right? I didn't say you were flaming, but yeah. Oh, do I keep saying toaster oven versus toaster? Toaster. Toaster oven and toasters are totally different things. Okay, this is about to be out in a minute. One more minute. Chips? Oh yeah! That's actually true. Baked potato chips are actually really good with it. Do you have the air fryer for the french fries? Dude, I've never made anything in this air fryer. I have no idea what it's capable of. I've only seen my roommate make chicken in it, and that's it. This is the only other ingredients ever been put in there. Ever. I'm sure it's great, right? Fries in an air fryer are awesome. Dude, maybe we should do that. Get some baked potatoes, cut them up. And then throw them into like a uh, homemade french fries. That'd be great. Oh, you can't be hard to make your own french fries, right? Just a waste of counter space then? Nah, nah. My roommate uses like four or five times a week. She fucking loves her fried chicken or whatever she makes. She goes ham with it, dude. Next we're going to do the skillet, but I'm, I'm just waiting for this to finish up. Which I think it's about to do. I don't know what happens if you like, open it, right? While it's mid-cooking? Okay, there we go. Oh, it started toasting! Perfect! Oh, that looks so much better! Okay, hopefully it's not soggy on the bottom, which I'm afraid of. Oh, it did toast! Fuck yeah, dude. 
Oh my god, this is actually very exciting. Yes, queen! Oh! It actually toasted! Okay, so if you try this at home, six minutes. Wow, look at that, too. Look how cooked it looks on the side. Doesn't that look great? It actually looks amazing. It's durable. The bottom's a little bit soggier than I would like. But the top is perfect. So maybe three minutes and then flip it. So you can toast both sides. Because it's open. Okay. There it is. Air fried tuna milk. Let's try it. Oh! It's crunchy. It's great. It holds together nicely. We can make it a little better. I think by flipping it halfway through. So next time if I make this, I'm gonna flip it halfway through. That's actually a great tuna milk. Oh! That is actually great. Wow. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Air fryer might be my new favorite tuna milk. Okay, I'll leave this on the side here, I'll clean this up later. Let's do a skillet tuna melt. Actually chat, I only want to make one more. Let's vote. Press 1 for a skillet, press 2 for a George Foreman. Mostly because I'm afraid of I'm not going to be able to eat all this, so I'm not that hungry. 1 for a skillet, 2 for a George Foreman. Skillet is winning hardcore. Okay, let's do that then. First things first, we're going to butter our bread before we heat this up, because I want it to be ready to go when it gets to the proper heat, and I don't want to be late. Sometimes in life, when you butter things, you're just too late to butter them. Wow, I'm so happy with that air fryer tuna melt. It's fucking fantastic. I wonder if I can do like a turkey sandwich in there too. Fried turkey sandwich. Alright, this one's actually really important to make sure you get the corners with butter. If you don't, your bread will burn. It's very similar to like a, making a French toast, right? You don't have some kind of soppiness there. It'll burn on you in corners and then it will taste like shit when you go to eat it. Make sure you get those corners. You can make sure to get the butter or excess butter off if you want. Make sure to get those corners. Work those corners, girl. You feel? We're gonna work a corner, do it right. That's all I'm saying. Life lesson I got for you, chat. Now this is always fun, because I like constructing my tuna melt as I'm cooking it. So it's kind of like a timer thing. It's like a little, little speedrun strat. Oh fuck, that is way too much butter. No thank you. Done with the butter. Butter out of here. We're done though. Okay. I'm gonna go for about a medium hate. Give it a couple seconds to light up. So it's gonna be quick what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're going to put the first layer down. I'm going to put the Parmesan mayo on top of it. Fairly similar to what we did with the air fryer. Follow up with the tuna and then put the cheese on top of it, and then follow up with our second layer. By the time we get it all combined and together, our bottom layer should be cooking enough and getting hard. So once we have the bottom part nice and hard, we'll flip it over, and then try to finish that off. Check the tuna, make sure it's being cooked and getting warmed up, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I would recommend a lid with this and some steam for when you do your flip, so you can make sure that you're steaming your tuna mill in there. Not too much though, you don't want it to get all soppy. So let me find my lid real quick. That I forgot. Is that one it? That is not it. Uh, where did we put our lid? There she is. Perfect. So we're gonna have a little water at the side for this. Start doing this.
Should be about a medium, medium, low heat. Nothing too crazy. Make sure it's not sticking. A couple more seconds before I flip it. We'll have the water at the ready. Once I flip it, I'm gonna pour some water on the side and then hat it. Pretty easy. Corn syrup is more than soda. What are you guys even talking about, chat? I look over and I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Ugh. That flip was fucking awful. That flip was awful, chat. But that's okay, we'll make it through it. F for the flip. I was nervous. Let's sit for a couple seconds. We'll pull it out. Take the top off? No, I like the top of it. I like the top on top of it. It's steaming. We're gonna be good. Get the cheese all melted. Almost done. Steamed bread, it's gonna be okay! Don't worry. It's gonna be great, chat. for when I fucked it up when I flipped it, chat. It was awful. Okay. Check this bread, make sure it's good. Oh, fuck, diets, maybe you were right. Holy shit, you were right, I steamed it for too long. Fuck! Oh my god, no one look at this! It's awful. We're redoing this. Diets was right. Diets was right, I fucked it up, chat! Look at this shitty creation. It's so good on top, too! Look at the top! Diets was right. Yikes. You turn this off. Fuck! What rank is this silver? Dude, I used to do this when I was a kid! Why didn't that happen when I was a kid? Oh, I had one of those, like, steamers that had a hole in it. What are those called? Those lids. Maybe that's what it was. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Now I have to clean this pan. Worst day ever. You know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put that show aside. I have another thing I can do this with. Never do that ever. Yep, we learned that. Here we go. We're doing this again. We're getting a correct sandwich out because this sandwich is mangled and it's awful and I'm actually disappointed in myself. Look at that. What the fuck? What did I just do? We throw these away. Awful. Wasting food on stream. Feels bad, dude. What happened to it? I think I put too much water? I seemed too long. Diets was right. We're doing this again. Because I want to get this right. throw the food? What am I gonna do with the food? Trash. Gone. It's not edible. You have a steamer rack? When I had a kid, dude, I had like a, a lid that had like a little hole in the side that I would use and I would do that. It was great. It melted the cheese perfectly. I'm not sure what I did wrong this time. I have been too much water. Maybe this time we just won't do it, period. Starving kids in Africa, listen, if I could send them bread within 24 hours, I would do it, okay? 
but I can't. I can't sit on that sandwich. Don't yell at me, chat. I'm not here to solve world hunger. I need to steam it so I can get the cheese all cooked quickly. That's what I used to do anyways. I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering a step. this as I throw a knife on the ground. We're gonna redo this and we're gonna do it right. Okay chat? That's what we're gonna do. My first failure ever on this stream. I have never failed that hard before. Ever. so tilted about this and now I have to like break out bread flakes unlucky truly unlucky don't trickleize me chat don't trickleize me all right I mean an air fryer air fryer sandwich how many of you have done that before The sandwich will be perfect. This will be the Pog Champion of Pog Champion sandwiches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have assembled yours going in? Yeah, you probably could. I mean, the beauty of two says san or tuna sandwich is you can do it however you want, right? So many different ingredients that just works for people. All right, let's see if we get the flip right this time. Uh, fuck me and my flipping ability lately. Sandwich is not gonna be perfect. It's not. Also, that was too early. Oh well. Oh well. We're committed to it now. Flipping? Dude. We need to get pancakes. That's what we need to do. We need practice. Next week, pancakes, and we're gonna flip for hours until we get it right. Add a dot of butter after you flip both sides and then cover for 10 seconds. There's enough moisture in the butter to steam without adding actual water. Ooh! I mean, I'm always a sucker for more butter. You can't go wrong with more butter. That's a strat. We're gonna skip that strat for today. I'm just not gonna steam anything ever again in my life because I'm embarrassed. Imagine failing cooking on live stream, chat. Imagine. It's my life right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you guys ranting about? Regulations and rules? About what? Oh, yes. Oh, besides from my shitty flip, this is ten times better. Yes, I'm eating this one fully. This one's going in my belly, and you can't stop it, chat. The rest I'm going to throw into containers, and I'll make some tuna melt during the week when I'm hungry. Ten more seconds, and then we're pulling this off the heat. Okay. 
Okay. Nice and golden on top. We had the mishap right here when I flipped it. But, edible. Right? Stuff the omelette stream win. Dude, we'll keep, we'll keep uh, voting on different streams, man. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, nice and warm. Gooey in the middle, which is where you want it to be gooey. Look at that. Nice and firm. Try it. It's great. Not as crunchy as I would like it. I could have left it on there for a little bit longer. But so tasty. Oh, so tasty. Seriously? This is amazing, chat. I did not think I would like this until I read about it. The Parmesan with mayo mixed together as a base foundation for it. It's so good. Air fryer show number one? I don't know. I think it's up between the two. I need to experiment more with the air fryer. But like, a cooked skillet tuna milk is hard to pass up, right? Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed today's stream. It was a super quick one. I apologize. Actually good though, it seems so weirdly gross. No, it's fucking yummy. It's so yummy. Uh, my bad on not having chicken tikka masala. I will try to make sure I order it for next week. And we'll do a chicken tikka masala stream. We'll learn how to do that. Today was a simple tuna milk stream. Not the most exciting, but hopefully you had fun. I will see you guys next week for more cooking. Tomorrow, Mass Effect. But until then, stay beautiful, stay off drugs. Thanks for hanging. I'm gonna go clean up. Bye!